Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ho Yun Chen. So today I'm going to present my study did in older individuals. So um, pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise has been shown to increase with age. So if we look at the graph, the pulmonary arterial pressure is the blood pressure in pulmonary arteries. The extent to which this increased pulmonary arterial pressure limits exercise capacity in order with in order people remains unclear. So the increased pulmonary arterial pressure suggests that high resistance to the blood flow in pulmonary circulation, which may limit cardiac output or increase right ventricle workload. Exercise may induce hypoxia, the venous blood returning to the heart and lungs may contain a very low partial pressure of oxygen. This may cause high pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise by trickling hypoxia singling pathways. It is known that intravenous iron lowers pulmonary arterial pressure during hypoxia. So we hypothesize so we hypothesize that intravenous iron will reduce pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise and increase exercise capacity in older people. We aim to study 32 healthy humans aged 50 to 80 years to follow the time course over eight weeks of the physiological effects of single iron infusion to examine whether iron infusion affects pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise and to see whether this has impacts on maximum exercise capacity. Let me take you through our protocol. We recruited 32 volunteers aged between 50 and 80 years without significant cardiovascular or respiratory diseases. They were blended and randomized into two groups, 16 volunteers received the iron on the left-hand side as the iron group, and the other 16 volunteers received saline as the saline group. We took a blood sample, performed the light exercise with echocardiography and the VO2 peak exercise test as, lab as labeled here. Light exercise was defined as a rise in heart rate of 30 beats per minute, as shown here. So our volunteer basically lied on a stress echocardiography coach. Their foot was strapped and cycled while their, pulmonary, while, while their systolic pulmonary arterial pressure, cardiac output, and stroke value were measured. VO2 peak exercise test was performed in, in, a, psycho, in a psycho machine in the sitting up position. And then they received either 50 ml of intravenous iron infusion as ferric carboxymaltose or saline as then they, then they repeat exercise test and the blood samples three hours after the infusion then repeated the same exercise test and blood sample taken at 23 hours, one week, four weeks, and eight weeks. So let's see the results from the blood samples first. The white circle means that represents data from the saline group, and the black circles represent the data from the iron group. Ferritin is a protein that indicates the iron storage in the in the body. The concentration increased dramatically at 23 hours till the end of the study in the iron group compared to no change in the saline group. Soluble transferring receptor is an indicator of iron needs in the cells. Um, the concentration dropped at seven days to eight weeks in the iron group compared to no significant changes in the saline group. Hemoglobin concentration remained constant in both groups. But it's interesting to see that erythropoietin reduced significantly at 23 hours and 7 days in the iron group. 
result from the echocardiography showed that the rise in systolic pulmonary arterial pressure in the saline group has showed no change in the saline group compared to a significant drop in the in the systolic pulmonary arterial pressure in the iron group. Changes in cardiac output and the stroke value remained constant in both groups. Peak oxygen consumption remained constant in both groups too. So in short, we have demonstrated that iron infusion changed the iron status and disrupt irreversible protein synthesis in the iron group. The rise in systolic pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise in older people was reduced by iron infusion, suggesting a hypoxia-related mechanism is involved. However, decreasing the rise in systolic pulmonary arterial pressure during exercise using intravenous iron did not affect cardiac output during light exercise and the maximum exercise capacity in older people. So I would like to thank my, my supervisors and also Dr. Matthew Fraze, who is in the audience. And thank you for his great medical support and uh, all the infusion work done with me. Thank you very much. Thank you.